Hi everybody, so this is the third of three videos coming at you today on April 6th, Monday, about how to put together your beautiful media presentation. This video is all about how you physically do it. If you weren't paying attention or you didn't catch on to last week's discussion about the three ways you can record both yourself and a PowerPoint on a computer screen for both Mac and PC, this is it. I will show you exactly what you can do in order to record and present your PowerPoint presentation. So in just a second, I'm going to share my screen with you. I am using Zoom. You all have access to Zoom through the University of Tampa and your accounts with it. So the poor person's version, the poor man's version, the easy way to do this without any sort of editing is to use Zoom, which, which has been given to you for free. Excuse the colloquialism. So what we're going to do is uh, I will share my screen with you and show you how to get to Zoom and then how to put the PowerPoint together. So first of all, you will go to the UT. So we go to UT. I was up here on Blackboard playing around. And when you get there, you go to Tools. You go to MyU Tampa, you log into MyU Tampa. I'm already logged in. And then you should have access to Zoom. This should be new to no one, or this should be, you should be familiar with this. And that's because I've seen most of you on a Zoom call before. You click Zoom here, and then what you want to do, I'm going to move myself. Whoop. You want to host a meeting with video on. And it's probably opening in another screen. And it opened there. And then you return to a meeting and basically it's gonna return you to my meeting, which is with me. And so what you do when you get there is you have your PowerPoint ready to go and then you share your screen. Let's say this is the PowerPoint here. You share your screen here. You've got your video over here, which you can stretch out and make yourself larger. And maybe you have your PowerPoint deck running over here. This would be exactly how I did the video from Sunday evening about the four ways to make your PowerPoint pop. And so then what you would do is you would make sure that, so I'm gonna stop showing my screen and you see me now. At the bottom here, there's a place where you record it. And then what you would do is you would name that file, push it to YouTube, and then put the YouTube link in the discussion board. So again, if you are going to use Zoom to make, create, and deliver your PowerPoint beautiful media presentation for Sunday night at the latest, you first outline it, second, storyboard it, and then third, you create the PowerPoint keynote, Prezi, what have you, in your computer. And then fourth, you open a Zoom like I just showed you how to do. You make a meeting for one, just you. And then you record your screen that you are sharing with your audience. And your little head would be up here making your presentation. You record that, you put that in YouTube, and then you put that in our discussion board. And we will watch each other's videos like we have in other situations in this class. It's pretty straightforward. You want to play with it a few times. The one major downfall is that you have to get it right on the first time. You can't edit the Zoom recording. Or if you're good enough, you can take the Zoom recording, throw it into Movie Maker or iMovie, and you can edit it, but you have to have more content and be really familiar with it. So this video is about what you physically do now. You've outlined, you've storyboarded, you've created the PowerPoint, now you open the PowerPoint, you open a Zoom, you share your screen with the video audience, the audience, you record the whole thing, you put that file in YouTube, and then you share it in our discussion board for Sunday. I hope this finds you well, healthy, and happy. I hope you've had a great week, and we will talk to you later. Bye.